According to the latest updates, the government's recent reforms have paved the way for a substantial increase in utility-scale renewable energy projects from the private sector. It is anticipated that a significant amount of new capacity will be added over the next three years thanks to the execution of corporate plans. During a joint briefing with business and government officials, Rudy Dix, spokesperson for the presidency, revealed that an impressive 22 gigawatt of private solar and wind power is scheduled to be added to the grid. Additionally, the estimated capacity for 2024 is 4,000 megawatts, which is projected to rise to 8,600 megawatts by 2026. For further analysis, we now turn to energy expert Matthew Cruz. We heard from the president yesterday a joint briefing from government and business that there is 22 gigawatts worth of renewable energy projects that are due to come online, with 4,000 megawatts of those coming online this year and wrapping up to 8,600 megawatts coming online by 2026. We also heard from James McKay from the Energy Council of South Africa that ESCOM has been using less diesel over the last seven week period than it did in 2023 and in 2022. And this was made mainly to counter the narrative that has come from Andy Narrator talking about ESCOM falling apart and going through a failed unbundling at the moment. And also that there's lots of diesel that's being used in order to mitigate low shedding. Andy Narrator's views align with Dami Ruet's views that ESCOM is falling apart and will have a similar fate to SAA and the South African Post Office. And these are the views that I am also aligned to. Because when I look at the data of what's actually going on, I see that on Tuesday, we did fire the diesel fire turbines up to a 7% capacity amount, which is about the 6% capacity amount that NERSA has given as their guidelines that ESCOM should not go above. So we are firing our diesel. And the last, then a few days after that, we've been firing at a 3.5% capacity. So even though we're using less than we were Last year and previous year, those years we were doing it to mitigate stage six and above load shedding. Whereas now we're firing diesel for the reason of keeping at stage zero. There seems to be a narrative that's being pushed regarding what's happening in the country leading up to elections. And from my side, once again, as I always say, I think this is the perfect time and the opportunity is now for businesses to take care of their own energy needs, as we can no longer rely on the government for electricity or sustainable price increases of the price of electricity.